body get you Roll on, I know shorty and she doesn't want no slow song Had a man last year, life goes on Haven't let the thing lose, girl, it's so long You been in Hey guys, it's Moni Sensation, I'm back with another video. So today, um, as you can see, I'm filming outside. The sun is like kind of going down, so so yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. Anyway, so school is coming up, literally in like one day, which is, oh, that just hurt my heart. That just hurt my heart badly. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway. As much as nobody likes it, school's coming up, and I just got finished with my freshman year, so today I'm going to be doing freshman advice. So everyone who's going into high school, I'm going to give you guys advice on what to do and what not to do. So, yeah. And I literally just got out of my freshman year, so this is like fresh advice, so... Let's get started. Let's get started. <laughs> so, the first tip that I have, which is something that a lot of people do, but the first tip is don't worry about being popular. So, a lot of freshmen go into high school thinking like it's like, um, it's like who can be the most popular or whatever. But if you really think about it, it's high school. So. It's literally like four years of your entire life. So once you leave high school, it's not really going to matter how popular you were. So that's pretty much useless. Also, when you are when you focus on being popular, you don't focus on your grades. You don't focus on... You get into a lot of drama. So, yeah, that's, that doesn't really matter. So, yeah, that really just doesn't really matter. On to tip number two. Make a good impression on your teachers. Like, that is very important because um, most of my teachers like me. And when your teachers like you, let's say you need one more point to bump you up to, let's say, have an A or a letter in academics. If your teacher likes you, they might give you some extra credit to at least give you a chance. Or they might just bump you up or they might allow you to retake a test or do anything your teachers literally like they can just they can just help you out so much with your grades but if you they don't like you that's just like they'll not they're not gonna feel like they want to help you they're just gonna be like okay like you know whatever but if they like you and they see that you're trying really hard they're gonna help you most likely and if you're talking in class you're always disrupting and everything your teacher's not gonna like you like it might be funny to your friends or whatever but when it comes down to it and you're asking your teacher for extra credit or something they're gonna remember that so yeah make sure you make a good impression on your teacher and this kind of goes into tip number three which is focus on your grades like oh my gosh I don't know like how I can say this but you really have to focus on your grades because a lot of like a lot of freshmen they come in and they're just worried about their friends that all everything is just you know they don't really care about the grades it's just like you know haha whatever like doesn't really matter but it matters so much because if you fail a class it's over like oh my gosh if you let's just walk through this if you fail a class you are going to have to get credit recovery which I'm not really sure because I haven't ever failed a class so and I don't plan to but I'm pretty sure you either you can either stay after school well credit recovery you have to pay and I'm pretty sure it's like a hundred and something dollars just to retake the class so yeah first of all you have to pay second it's either you do summer school, which is yikes. You either stay after school, I'm pretty sure. I heard about some people taking credit recovery after school. I don't know if that's true or not. Or you take it next year, which I'm pretty sure they're not going to. You're still going to be classified as like a sophomore, but you're going to be taking freshman classes with all the freshmen. First of all, that's embarrassing. 
so yeah unless you want to go through all that just and when you do that it's like so it's like you never even took that class so it's basically you're taking the freshman english while you're a sophomore you're taking the sophomore english while you're a junior so you're just going to be set behind like it it makes everything way more difficult so focus on your grades like whatever it takes to get good grades because it's really not worth it when high school's over it's not gonna matter like oh i got to talk to all my friends every day i didn't really have to do work it's gonna matter what grades you got so you can get into college and everything and even if you don't fail the class if you don't know that stuff that stuff was most likely going to carry over to next year so if you were confused then because you didn't do your work you're most likely going to be confused the next year which is like Yikes. It just makes everything so, so much harder. So I'm just going to say focus on your grades and let everything else come second because that's what you're at school for anyway, to learn. So focus on your grades. Tip number four, I think that you guys should get involved in stuff like do clubs, try out sports and stuff, or yeah, just do stuff that's extracurricular because, sorry, I keep thinking a car is coming. Anyway, just do stuff that's extracurricular to get involved. It will probably just, you'll be more versatile. It'll probably be fun. Sorry. It'll probably be fun. You're probably going to get more friends, so you'll have more friends in different areas, you know. It's just all around a good idea. Yeah, like, that's pretty obvious. Like, you just want to get involved and try new stuff out. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. And my last tip is to not take an AP class your first year. So when I first went to high school, there was a new AP class that was just like coming out, I guess. So everyone wanted to take it. Everyone was trying out for it. And um, yeah, when, when there was this night at the high school, where they explained it since it was the first year that it was like coming out. So they explained it and um, no, it wasn't the first year of it coming out. Yeah, I don't think it was the first year of it coming out. But that was like the only AP class you could take for freshmen. So they explained it and everything and it was a new teacher teaching it. And so when I got in the car, my mom told me she doesn't think that I should take it because it's like you're going from middle school classes to college level classes so that's pretty much what it is like AP classes is for college credit so you're going from middle school to college you're skipping over high school completely and also you're just now getting into high school like you don't even know the environment how high school works like you haven't even been in high school and you're already going for AP like it's just a risk because if this if you fail that class or you don't do good it's like, 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 that was just such a waste. And I'm pretty sure, I can't really think of it right now, but I'm pretty sure if you fail an AP class, oh yeah, if you fail an AP, AP class, I'm pretty sure you don't get any credit at all. Like, at all. So it's basically like, you never took that class. So yeah, that is like, yikes. That's a, that's a, yeah. So... I, th I just think that you should at least wait one year before you start taking AP, AP classes because they're difficult. The freshman that I know of that got into the class, a lot of people said it was really hard and a lot of people were failing it. That's what I heard, that a lot of people were failing it. So was it really worth it? I'm pretty sure the teacher bumped them up at the end because, you know, teachers look bad when that happens. But I'm pretty sure he bumped them up at the end. But that is like a close call. Like you almost failed that class. You'd have to pay to retake it. It's just so... It just makes everything way more difficult. So in my opinion, you should not take AP the first year. Or at least wait one year like me. This year I'm taking an AP class. So I, I'm not sure like how it's going to be like. Because of course school hasn't started yet. But... Guys, that's basically it. I hope you guys take this advice if you're a freshman. Um, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are truly sensational, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Dun, 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 dun.